was one of our favorite titles when it was announced last year, and now it continues to make headlines in the run-up to release. Here with what fans can expect from 33 Immortals, we have Thunder Lotus producer Nicolas Godin. Bienvenue à la Gamescom. Oh, Ça merci. Va? Ça va très bien. Thank you very much. Gamescom is awesome. Your booth is awesome. Oh, It's very impressive. And you actually were here last year uh, with uh, 33 Immortals on our Gamescom stage. Yes. But yeah, it's been a year, it's been a minute. Could you give us a refresher on the APCs? I'll give you a little recap. Uh, so 33 Immortals is a co-op action roguelike game where you join the fight with 33 players with you. And then the goal is to fight masses like of uh, monsters and like epic bosses and all that in a raid, pick up and raid, uh, it's all we call it, the pick up and raid vibe, where we want to give this raid uh, accessible take for players, like a uh, low key, low effort to just join in and you fight all together. And Phil Spencer is a fan. We know that. We are very happy to mention that Phil was our first community oh. member since he played last year. <laughs> But to be to be fair, he, he was really, really uh, nice with us. He played with us. He, he, he was very... Uh, he, he's our fan. We love him. <laughs> And uh, it was a good moment with him last year. And you got community testing now under your belt as well. So could you tell us more about the reactions? Yes, it was interesting. Uh, throughout last, uh, the, the whole year, we had a closed alpha and a closed beta. For the closed beta, we were very surprised. We had around 47,000 players. We weren't expecting this at all, but we are very grateful and happy to have all these players joining in. And uh, it was nice because we also had a survey in it and uh, we asked them, would you recommend that game? You know, this classic, would you recommend it? And we were very happy to hear that 94% of them would recommend it. So for us, it was clearly a, a big success. Congratulations thank on you, that. Thank you, thank you. And uh, those community testings can be very revealing. So what did you learn about that for your game and how does your team evolve things before release? Yeah, uh, indeed, we learn a lot. First of all, we confirm that our core game mechanic is working very well. The fact of playing with 32 players as a big group in the world, in bus fight, it was a good success. Uh, people appreciated all the co-op mechanics. Uh, the bus fight, again, they were very appreciated. And also, it's something very TLG-like. It's that we know we have gorgeous art, like gorgeous animation, gorgeous art everywhere. It's really our, I'll say our, like, tagline when you talk about Thunder Lotus and we respect that and people appreciate that. It was very good. On the other end, we also had tons of feedback and that was good because we needed feedback, obviously. And we know that we have to still work on the combat. The combat is such a big thing in our game. We want to make it more snappy. Uh, we also going to work on some like tutorials at the beginning to make it more clear for players. We want to work uh, also again on some uh, communication features we have in game. We'll pimp them up to make sure that people have all the tools to communicate with each other very easily. And the last of it is also uh, all about the difficulty. We want to make sure that every player will be able to jump in and enjoy the game with the right difficulty level. Right now it was a bit too difficult. So yes, and especially raids can be very difficult, they can be very demanding, sometimes yes. elite, and do you have a different approach on that in the game? But you said it exactly, uh, like raid, raids in games, people will have the conception that you really have to dedicate yourself, you have to take time, you have to grind and like make your character more powerful, have a group that will show up at the same time. We want to take another like uh, vibe at this, we want to make sure that people can just open the console, go in our dark woods up, equip a weapon, equip beautiful capes and ornaments, like because that. that's important. Uh, and then, like, just jump in. At the second you're in, in the world, you are with 32 other players and you play together. This is really our take on the pickup and ride, and we wanted to make sure that the game will be easy to access, but yet still be challenging. And this is, this is our biggest challenge, I would say, because It's easy to make just a game that is very easy, but it still has to be fun, challenging to the player. So this is really our focus in the past few months, where we want to make sure that our game will be perfectly balanced for this, yet very accessible. I love that. Accessibility is so important. But I remember you talked about the tutorials. Did anybody beat the tutorials, actually? Ah, <laughs> funny, funny moment. So uh, we know that at our tutorials, we have this kind of 
a torture chamber where you have to die. We want you to die to just stop this and go to the... Go the yeah, it's like yeah. you can keep going. But someone was able to just survive the whole thing. Oh. And it was very impressive to see this. Uh, some people are very dedicated and props to these players because we love them a lot. Uh, but he, he did manage to die at some point, I guess, otherwise he wouldn't keep going in the game, but that's it. We have very dedicated players for this, and he made it. I love that story. So he made the impossible possible. Every player will always sh show us that, that everything is possible. But you also got something new coming up, a new realm. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, exactly. So in the beta, in the closed beta, we introduced a new world, which is about Purgatorio. So right now, just as a little reminder, uh, when you join the game, you start in Inferno. It's, this is where you'll play with 32 players. And then when you join Purgatorio, it's a smaller zone, so it's 22 players, and uh, it's going to be a, a rough. It's going to be way much more rough. Uh, it's more challenging and demanding. In terms of the area, it, it looks very different. Uh, there's a lot of like ashes everywhere. Another, it's a clear another mood. A lot of like monastery and like uh, abandoned places everywhere. But the, the biggest thing about uh, Purgatorio is the fact that it's the, monst the monsters are all different. And in Inferno, we have a roster of monsters with variation. In Purgatorio, we have a whole different monster-like roster. And uh, what's cool with them is that we introduce more uh, co-op mechanic between them. So we have monsters that are able to eat each other. So they are really, they can be a pain sometimes in some fights. Uh, they have some that can slow players down. They have some that can make uh, other monsters invulnerable for a short time. So we wanted to challenge the player differently to make sure that they will use all the roles of the different weapons in an in a efficient way and just challenge them in a different way with the other world. So a lot of diversity, a lot to explore and watch out for, definitely. Yes, exactly. And by the way, please know that they are support, but they will still hurt you because, ah, yes, it's about it. dying again. <laughs> <laughs> I see what the whole thing is about your game. We're very sorry. <laughs> uh, we mentioned, we talked about the beta moments ago. Will mm -hmm. some of those insiders see evolution in the game? Yes, and uh, what's nice is that um, when you play a zone, you have access to a big boss fight at the end. Inferno was a Lucifer boss fight, which was very exciting. And for uh, Purgatorio, we go with an Adam and Eve fight in the Garden of Eden. Uh, it was, uh, we were... We weren't sure to push it out, but the goal was to have feedback on the gameplay. So when we put it out, it was very rough. It was all pink and placeholder with rough animations. And it was very fine with us because we wanted gameplay on, uh, feedback on gameplay, uh, which we did. And then right now we are working a lot to make sure that all the official assets for Adam and Eve will be like completely done. And we'll have tons of more info about the fight soon, but they're gonna look great. Animation will be done, VFS will be done. It's gonna be pretty nice. I can really feel that your heart is beating for the community and the feedback. So if anybody else wants to join, how do we keep up with 33 Immortals? Well, I, the team is very dedicated. So I just want to say a big props, camera. Yes, please. Like, team, we love you. We are at Thunderlotus. The team is like 20 people. And other people at the office always help with us. And really props to you and props to all the players that help us with these uh, different phases. We love you. Keep coming back. And uh, if you want to keep contact with us in the game, first of all, uh, join 33immortals.com. Uh, follow us to have news on newsletter and the different phases that will come in. And also, we also started uh, Xbox Insider like playtest on this weekend. It's going to start right now. So for those who are on the Insider ring, Perfect. please join the fight and have fun with us. Well. Hopefully you can enjoy some more of Gamescom. Thank you so much I for will. coming, Nicola. Thank you very Au much. Au revoir. Au revoir. Merci. <laughs> Danke schön. De rien. <laughs> Sign up at 33immortals.com to keep an eye out for 33 Immortals coming to Xbox Game Pass day and date.